Well, good afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Thanks for logging on here to the latest long range forecast update. It's Saturday, June 13th, 2015, a little after 5 p.m. here in the afternoon. We do have some storms rolling through the area. Nothing severe, but some very beneficial rain certainly moving through the area. We are sponsored today by Welps Farm and Green Greenhouse. You can visit them on the web, welpsfarmandgreenhouse.com. They're also on Facebook. You can just search for Welps Farm and Greenhouse there. Folks, they have all kinds of uh, things, everything that you could possibly need for your gardening. But beyond that, they have a great gift shop with willow tree angels, rhythm clocks, handmade wind chimes, handmade wooden toy tractors. They've got all kinds of Ertl farm toys, even some hard to find ones there as well. Fertilizers, pesticides, canning supplies, pedal tractors, you name it, all kinds of uh, things there. Give them a call and uh, tell them Southern Indiana Weather sent you. Their phone number is 812-326-2709, welpsfarmandgreenhouse.com. All right, let's go back over here to the uh, radar here, and you can see there is some uh, showers and thunderstorms moving into our area. Again, nothing severe about this tonight, but it's another hot and humid kind of day, and so you can just sort of expect uh, these kind of showers and thunderstorms sort of be around with us really for the next few days as we'll get into the forecast, and you can see Again, nothing really intense or impressive about these. There is the, some severe weather out to our west, and but that's uh, where the uh, stronger uh, stronger storms are going to remain, not really going to affect us tonight. Let's put future radar here into motion and just sort of give you an idea how everything will shake out. There's the stronger storms out to our west. Again, stuff around here, the future radar is not really uh, depicting it very well. Um, but uh, it's real spotty for us, and that's why it's going to stay for uh, real, really the next few days. And then uh, you can expect just some spotty showers and thunderstorms here and there to roll through. Uh, we'll have the chance of, uh, of storms, but uh, again, you see here, uh, it's not like it's going to be a solid mass of rain moving in through here. It's going to be real spotty. And basically, as we just sort of zoom out to the bigger picture, and let's, let's talk about what we've got going on here. Uh, the bigger pattern at hand is it's going to stay hot for a while. You see this big... Uh, this ridge of, of high pressure right here well just watch what it does over the next few days and and, and you see here we go it just sort of sets there and and uh, really well if the website ever decides to load and what you'll see is the thing just sort of sets there and and doesn't really go very far as you continue moving on and so you've got fronts that kind of approach the area and and you know whenever you've got a front that's coming against the high pressure system if the high pressure is strong enough the high pressure is always going to beat out over the other things and so it just sort of stalls out over the area and we are just enough on the edge of it that we stay really in daily rain chances for a good little while here and we may have other things approach us but uh, this high pressure is not really going anywhere and so here we are by the time you are uh, into a monday night it, it's still sitting down there and let me just go out a little bit further here by the time this is what we're looking at here is 12 a 12 z so this is 8 a.m tuesday morning some fronts knocking right on our door there's that high pressure cell but sort of watch what it does it does slide off just a little bit down to our south but it never really goes away uh, and as you can see it just sort of sets and spins up and around the area and and uh, it just sort of stays there. If I widen the view out, what I want to do here is, is just sort of take you into the upper levels of the atmosphere. So we're looking here at about the 500 millibar level, and this is about, oh, 10,000 or so feet up into the atmosphere. Uh, these are the height lines, and what I want you to see is this 591 high right down here. This is a uh, huge upper level ridge of high pressure, and just sort of watch what it does. You see it just sort of spins there over the next well really what we're going to be looking at is over the next week and a half to 10 days here um, and what you see is really here over the next 10 days it just sort of sets there before it starts to flatten out again maybe just a little bit over the next 10 days but let me do it for you one more time and you get the idea well here's the thing whenever you've got this going on you've got this big ridge of high pressure down here and and remember winds rotate clockwise around the high pressure so we're on the edge of it here we've got a nice southwest flow going on and we're just enough on the periphery of this thing that will be in daily storm chances basically and very warm temperatures as we take a look at the expected temperature outlook really over the next six to ten days uh, the storm predict from the uh, climate prediction center rather and, and you can see we are in you know 60 70 percent chance of above normal temperatures and as you have, have, 
extend that on out to 8 to 14 days, we're going to stay above normal for a long, long, long while. In fact, you just take a look at the GFS ensembles. It's sort of raw data. You see upper 80s to low 90s are going to sort of dominate the period. There will be a couple of days as a front uh, comes over through us and then retreats out of the way that it might dip down to the low 80s, but you can kiss those 70s goodbye. 80s and 90s are going to sort of dominate the period. And, well, because of that, we've got rain chances that are going to come along with this as well. The Climate Prediction Center saying above normal chances on rain really as far as the eye can see out there. And I showed you that with all those fronts approaching. So is it going to be a massive steady rain all day long on any of these days? Absolutely not. It's just going to be spotty stuff really over the next 10 days. And um, But that spotty stuff could amount up. In fact, if you take a look at what the uh, GFS total precipitation is out to the next 240 hours, the next 10 days, well, just get an idea of what we've got going on here. And you can say here in Evansville, about 4.1 inches, possibly 6.3 inches around Lawrenceville, 3.8 there in Huntingburg, 2.7 to 3.1 there around the Louisville airports, 4.9 up in Indy. You get the idea that there is a lot of rain that potentially could be coming our way over the next 10 days or so. So uh, these spotty thunderstorms as they roll through, they could certainly add up. And of course, this is beneficial rain because parts of the area have actually uh, over here in southeast indiana have been declared as abnormally dry as far as drought status so this could be a little bit of a, a relief to that and of course it's it's uh, very hot and humid will be beneficial for growing the corn and things like that as well so uh, all in all we've got a sort of a unsettled weather pattern coming through we'll just have to fight daily rain chances from here on out now as far as severe weather looks it doesn't look like anything will be a, a major outbreak of any means could some days be a stronger storm than others? Possibly, but I don't see anything coming down the pipe right now that's going to be very major. By the way, I, I do want to at least point out that as we talk about this big upper level ridge of high pressure, this is sort of somewhat unnormal, uh, abnormal for this, this kind of year. Now, it's not uh, abnormal in the sense that we never see these things. We've seen these things constantly over the summer. What's abnormal is we've got a pretty strong El Nino going on, and usually when we have an El Nino that's this strong, we don't see a southeast ridge set up like that. Um, but we've got a very strong El Nino uh, coming in right here, approaching the 1.5 mark. 0.5 and above for three consecutive months is really what's considered an El Nino. And you can see we really entered the El Nino status here. We have been in there for two or three months now. And, of course, it's going to continue to grow. In fact, uh, by the time this winter comes around, here you are you know, entering the winter period right over in here. And you can see uh, we, we actually max out here potentially at Super Nino status at about 2.5. Some of these ensemble members actually take it really ridiculously high. But you notice it starts to uh, down on the downward slide as we head over the winter time. That is also a little bit unusual as well. Usually we see these things strengthen up over the winter. So right now this El Nino pattern we're in is just a little bit abnormal. But I, I will say this much. Typically a strong, strong El Nino winters like this uh, favor us by being very mild and, uh, well, I wouldn't say snowless, but certainly the chances of an extremely harsh winter like we've had uh, two winters ago. And then, of course, last winter we, we experienced that a little bit later on in the winter. Well, the chances of that are greatly reduced whenever you get a strong Nino like this over the winter time so could be some relief to that but it's a little too far out to see but to sort of put that bug in there maybe 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 we'll get lucky and we won't have a massively below normal winter again only time will tell but the hope is there but this is extremely unusual to get this kind of pattern and see this so right now the point I would like to point out about this is uh, well this is sort of an anomaly who knows, maybe this will be the major heat wave of the season. I really expect with a uh, with a, a strong Nino like this that we won't see as strong of a heat wave this summer as normal. But uh, right now, that uh, my initial thoughts are not verifying. It, but this doesn't really fit with uh, the pattern, so at least of what we know about El Ninos. Meteorology is a very humbling science, I will say that. A lot that we don't know about this yet, unfortunately. But... That's the way things go, folks. Uh, but for now, we'll, we'll sort of take it as it is, and it looks like it's going to stay hot and humid, and it looks like we've got some uh, rain to deal with over the next few days. Let's go ahead and take a look at your 10-day forecast. You can go to southernindianaweather.com and get this. 
88 for your high temperature tomorrow and then again you see daily thunderstorm chances really here as you go throughout the forecast mid to upper 80s even some 90s at times dominating the forecast period but what you notice is at least a 30 or more percent chance of rain pretty much every single day as you go through this period all right folks that is it i'm meteorologist michael wilhite thanks for logging on to this latest long range update have a great night folks stay safe we'll see you next time